For quite some time now, there has been a ton of speculation surrounding the possibility of a new Jujutsu Kaisen movie, and for good reason too. This series is insanely popular at the moment, it's probably the most popular anime and manga in the world. So it's only natural to wonder if a feature film is on the way, and I'm just here to say that even though there hasn't been any official confirmation as of yet from literally any reputable source, I can guarantee you that there will 100% be another movie, and it will absolutely be about Gojo vs Tsukuna. Now there are a plethora of reasons as to why this will most likely happen, and in today's video I'll be going through the top 3 reasons as to why I am so sure this is actually going to happen. Really quickly though, I gotta say, uh, make sure to leave a like. Doing that helps out these videos so much, and for all those that do leave a like, Anywho, the first reason, and probably the most potent, is the marketing. In all my years of reading manga and watching anime, I don't think I've ever seen a potential anime film that could be marketed this easily. Literally all you would have to do is drop a poster on Twitter with Gojo on one side and Tsukuna on the other, then for the bottom text you just put strongest versus the strongest. That's literally all you have to do. That's it. The internet has been successfully broken and bare minimum we're talking like 400 million at the box office. But all jokes aside, there would obviously have to be a lot more done in terms of marketing. One poster is most certainly not enough for an entire campaign, but I do believe believe you could keep the budget relatively low for the marketing and this movie would still be a huge financial success because the word of mouth would do so, so much for a film like this, especially if it was good. And all you gotta do to see where I'm coming from is look at the film Godzilla Minus One. About 70 to 80% of that movie's marketing was done through word of mouth. At least over here in the US. There were a couple trailers here and there and some posters of course, but the majority of the people that went to go see that movie went because a massive amount of people kept praising it and telling others that they needed to go see it because it was fantastic. And in turn, that caused Minus One to be a massive financial success. And just based off of the success of Season 2 and the fact that Volume 25 sold like, what, a million copies in a week? It should be clear as day as to just how much word of mouth would affect a movie like Gojo vs. Tsukuna. Now, this next reason I sort of kind of touched on a little bit when I was talking about marketing, but I'm going to go more in depth here. Because the second reason is probably the main reason as to why anything gets made. That's right y'all, we're talking about profit. Which we should all already be in agreement would be insane for this movie. The growth that Jujutsu Kaisen has had since season 1 first aired in 2020 is an achievement that is just hard to truly comprehend. The amount of people that not just know about it, but also vehemently enjoy it has probably tripled, if not quadrupled, since its conception. And this is important because around the start of season one of the anime, the first Jujutsu Kaisen movie was released, and that film was based off the prequel story entitled JJK Zero. And even with the series not being as widely known, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero still made a whopping $166 million at the box office, immediately cementing it in the top 10 highest grossing anime movies of all time. For reference, that means JJK Zero beat out the likes of Dragon Ball Super Broly, Dragon Ball Super Super Hero, and literally every single My Hero Academia movie, which is <laughs> crazy. Especially when you take into account how long those series have been going and how many movies they had prior, yet JJK after one season shows up and dominates the box office. 
Fast forward to present day and with how much more popular JJK is now, I can only imagine what the revenue will be like, especially if it's about Gojo versus Sukuna. I don't know if something like that can overtake Mugen Train, which if I'm not mistaken is still the highest grossing anime movie ever made, but I guarantee you that at the very least it'll make twice as much as JJK Zero, without a shadow of a doubt. Speaking of Mugen Train though, another way to increase profits would be to do exactly what Ufotable did with Season 2 of Demon Slayer, which would be to break up the movie and have it play out over the course of probably like three or four episodes, maybe five depending on the length of the movie. And once you break it up, have that be the first half of whatever season they would be on at that time. It'd truly be a win-win when you think about it. I mean, at least for the company. I figure a lot of people would hate not getting anything new for the first half of a season, or the fact that this movie would even be made in the first place, because people, for whatever reason, have an aversion to liking anime movies, and they just want their seasons and have that be that. But also, at the same time, some people may not care and may prefer to actually wait for it to come out in an episodic format and be completely fine with that. Me personally, I'm down for seeing it not only in theaters, but also watching it week to week, because I know it <laughs> would be a sight to behold. Moving on though, up next we have the final reason as to why I believe Gojo vs Sukuna will be a feature length film. And this reason is a pretty simple one, it's because nothing else in Jujutsu Kaisen really works as well as a movie as this one does. You wouldn't be able to accurately adapt the entirety of the calling games into a film unless the runtime was like 9 hours. And no other fight within the calling games has the potential to draw in as big of an audience. So if a JJK film is on the way, the only logical choice for the plot in my opinion is the battle between the strongest sorcerer of today and the strongest sorcerer of all time. There really is no other choice, especially when you take into consideration that the ending of the movie would probably be Gojo's death, which would, uh, ugh, that'd be a way to end a film. And the reaction in the theater, man, I want to be in premium seats for when that moment goes down. That, that'd that be a night to remember. I mean, we're talking Infinity War type of reactions for something like that. Only since it's anime fans, it'll be 10 times worse. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, those are the three reasons I believe this fight will become a movie. Let me know in the comment section if you feel the same or if you don't. And if you don't, re really delve into why you wouldn't want to see this as a movie in theaters, because recently Demon Slayer announced that they were having their finale be a three-part movie experience, and the response to that was truly mind-boggling to me. I just, I don't understand why people are so bad that we get to see the finale as three highly produced, highly budgeted anime movies i i don't get it to switch gears here though if you do agree that there should be another jujutsu kaisen movie in the theaters but you don't want it to be about gojo versus sukuna should it be like a side story a side plot or should it be about the finale of jujutsu kaisen let me know in the comment section down below and while you're down there doing all that don't forget to like and subscribe with the notifications on and i will see you all in the next one peace out everybody